All right, again, to build our data tables, at the top of our tables, we need to pick up the item we're interested in. We're interested in the net present value, so it's a link to the net present value, and we're interested in the internal rate of return. So let's put that at the top of each one of our tables. Equals net present value equals IRR equals net present value equals IRR. Had I anchored these, I could have simply copied and pasted. Now again, our data tables are set up in terms of a column vertically. We're going to put these inputs into, in this case, we put those into the bid price, and here is how changing the various bid prices would impact our net present value and internal rate of return. Next, we want to check and see how changing the unit sold will impact our net present value and our IRR. So again, we highlight the column that includes our input variables and also the row at top that includes the items we're interested in, in this case our net present value and IRR. Then we go up to data, what if, data table. Again, our data table set up in terms of columns. We want to put these values into, since this is unit sold, put it in right there. And there are our answers. In terms of variable cost per unit, again, highlight, data, sorry, under data tab, data table, columns. We want to put the variable input price or variable cost rather into cell B5 and that's how changing our variable cost per unit will impact our pro forma. Finally our equipment cost highlight data what if data table columns we want to change our equipment cost, which is right up here in cell G3. And we'll hit OK. Um, I guess we should format uh, these bottom ones. But there you have it. Uh, one thing you can notice, your numbers won't necessarily agree with my data table numbers unless you have the same beginning bid price, which I have as $13.